Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make a mini PLC. I have made this PLC using ESP8266 board. This PLC has 4 input, 4 output, 1 analog input and 1 PWM output. This PLC can be used for many applications where less I.O. is needed. We will make the program for this PLC in letter logic using open PLC software. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project. Then I created PCB layout and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on checkout securely and then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels do subscribe them as well and you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. So this is our mini PLC board. It has 4 relay outputs. 4 LEDs are used to indicate the status of output relays. It also has 4 optically isolated inputs. Now let's make the circuit of this project. These are all the components we are gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect ESP8266 module. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one side pin to V in pin of ESP module, its center pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to A0 pin of ESP module and its other pin to remaining pin of 3 pin terminal block. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to A0 pin of ESP module and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to D0 pin of ESP module and its other pin to pin number 2 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to V in pin of ESP module and its other coil pin to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its cathode to positive supply and its anode to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one side pin to normally open terminal of the relay, its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its other side pin to normally close terminal of the relay. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to D1 pin of ESP module and its other pin to pin number 2 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to V in pin of ESP module and its other coil pin to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its cathode to positive supply and its anode to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one side pin to normally open terminal of the relay, its center pin to common terminal of the relay, and its other side pin to normally close terminal of the relay. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin 
to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its 1 pin to D2 pin of ESP module and its other pin to pin number 2 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to V in pin of ESP module and its other coil pin to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its cathode to positive supply and its anode to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one side pin to normally open terminal of the relay, its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its other side pin to normally close terminal of the relay. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to D3 pin of ESP module and its other pin to pin number 2 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 5 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to V in pin of ESP module and its other coil pin to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its cathode to positive supply and its anode to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one side pin to normally open terminal of the relay, its center pin to common terminal of the relay and its other side pin to normally close terminal of the relay. After that, connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 1 of the transistor. After that, connect a 100 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to anode of the LED. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to D4 pin of ESP module and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect PC817 optocoupler and connect its pin number 2 to ground and connect its pin number 3 to D4 pin of ESP module and its pin number 4 to 3 volt pin of ESP module. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of optocoupler. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to remaining pin of 1K resistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to D5 pin of ESP module and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect PC817 optocoupler and connect its pin number 2 to ground and connect its pin number 3 to D5 pin of ESP module and its pin number 4 to 3 volt pin of ESP module. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of optocoupler and its other pin to remaining pin of 2 pin terminal block. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to D6 pin of ESP module and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect PC817 optocoupler and connect its pin number 2 to ground and connect its pin number 3 to D6 pin of ESP module and its pin number 4 to 3 volt pin of ESP module. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of optocoupler. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to remaining pin of 1K resistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to D7 pin of ESP module and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect PC817 optocoupler and connect its pin number 2 to ground and connect its pin number 3 to D7 pin of ESP module and its pin number 4 to 3 volt pin of ESP module. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of optocoupler and its other pin to one side pin of 3 pin terminal block. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 1 to remaining pin of 3 pin terminal block and its pin number 3 to ground. 
After that, I'm gonna connect a 1K resistor and connect its one pin to D8 pin of ESP module and its other pin to pin number 2 of the transistor. So I have done all the connections. So this is the complete project. Now let's make some example program. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.